Good morning, welcome to Slim Chat. It's Tracy, and what a beautiful, sunny, warm day in my dreams. It's freezing, it's gloomy, and it certainly, certainly isn't bright. <laughs> it's gloomy. Well, <clears throat> it's a bit parky though. My own fault, really. I haven't put any socks on, and um, I think if I have my feet are cold then all of me seems cold if i put what socks on then i don't feel the cold so much even though i always don't have anything on my arms more or less sometimes i mean i've got um another christmasy top that says jingle all the way but it's a sweatshirt but i have to be really cold to wear that i don't I'm not really into things like pullovers and sweatshirts so i find them very restrictive and it's a baggy one as well so it's quite baggy in the sleeves <clears throat> so good morning good morning if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell you'll be informed when new videos pop up and i will show the cooker jane jane's asked if i will show my new oven cooker thing and um yeah i will but oh it's a bit difficult it's a bit um complicated so i'll get a bit of to grips with it and before i show you i couldn't really do an unboxing it's a big thing you know it's a bit of a big thing to unbox. So maybe I'll just put a piece of paper over it and call it an unboxing. <laughs> <clears throat> right. I'm going to say, oh my word, that's a long one. I'm going to see what the cat said. I bet I'd make a mess of this. Whoa. Right, okay. I kind of identify with this one. A disorder of the hunting instinct makes humans into compulsive shoppers. This is found most often in indoor humans who don't have enough to do. Rather than outdoor humans, th the sort that go out every day for work, compulsive shoppers bring home innumerable items. Perhaps the single greatest difference between our species is their senseless obsession with collecting and storing things that are useless for eating or playing with. I sit here in a yarn room. Although, cats like to play with that, so that's probably allowed <laughs> by cats. Possibly. But then, you know, I've got lots of other things that wouldn't be allowed by cats, really. <clears throat> so that's what the kitty cat thinks of it all today. I really must research a new book for when that one ends. So I've got something. Um got um a big parcel coming today well big in terms of what it means to me and the money it cost me but not big as in the size of a cooker it's not really that big but it will, won't be small i will do an unboxing for that one over on rocksteady which you'll probably find pop up today um hopefully i've got a new parcel which i think is my last um crochet society box which i'll make a film of today and um, I want to start making some tutorials but I've got lots of errands um, and a busy busy weekend because we have a last meal well I said not our last meal but we have our last family meal out um, which possibly might not be the last but um, there may be one with Charlotte in the offing I'm not sure about that but we do have one today with Gary's brothers and some cousins and and others that are coming they're not Gary's cousin, but they're Gary's brother's cousin. So they've got different dads. So, but they've been, you know, members of the family for years. So they, they kind of like it. Anyway, so that's <clears throat> this evening in a Metza, Metza grill, but it's a posh one. Um, we've been there before. It was really, really nice. So that should be fun. And there's a big crowd of us going, which, you know, this time of the pandemic, and everything coming back may not be the best plan but you know it is but pretend it's gonna happen so yeah but it's all kicking off a bit isn't it and we've now um the government the other day asked everyone start wearing masks again in shops and every time we go we've never stopped we've always worn masks um so whenever we go we find people that are not and there was this thing in the paper where um, shops are frightened to ask people who kick off 
um, well, you need better security then and you need to throw them out because, you know, it's now, you know, compulsory. So you've got to do it as far as I'm concerned. Um, and if people are that selfish, then throw them out and they'll have to learn the hard way that they need to stick the thing on their face before they go in there. And we're going to have all these knobheads that, do I really say that, where they wear them under their nose or under their chin like a beard. Because I've got my mask on, but it's a protest. I'm not really wearing it. Well, you know, kick them out. Kick them out the shop. But they're frightened to lose customers. <clears throat> but the small businesses, again, are worrying that everything's going to close and, you know, things are going to go, ooh, like this. I mean, we don't even really know, do we, if this Omicron variant is a bad one yet. Oh, well. Best book up the jab, I guess. The booster. Get that done and dusted. So let's do the movie quote. Shall we cheer ourselves up after that misery? Mum said <laughs> the alligators are ornery because they've got all them teeth and no toothbrush. <clears throat> that was Waterboy. And Lot's got this one. Linda got it. Kim, Jane, John Bon, who's a new guy. Um, Kaylee. And Casey and Alyssa. Lots of new names on the uh, movie quote of the day, which is what I like to see. So there you go. Got a few new subscribers, so welcome to my newbies. And, um, you know, I will endeavour to make some more recipes. Just got to get used to the oven. <laughs> so complicated. Even the hob. Even the hob's complicated. I was looking at it and there's like, oh, we'll turn it this way. Do this and then turn it back to get half the ring. It's like, what? You know, why don't you just turn it one way for half and the other way for full? Yeah, I'm a bit spun out at the moment looking at it. Oh, I know it becomes second nature after a while, but I'm a bit worried about Gary. Gary's one of these guys who likes to turn the knob and it's on. <clears throat> I haven't told him how complicated it is yet. This looks a little big. Well, that's not bad. Not a bad sign, is it? does though look my shoulder's right down there i never noticed that oh well at least i'll only wear it for christmas next year hopefully i'll be so slim that this will be a tent in the garden you never know well i could make it into something couldn't i be cushion or a pillow ah yeah i could do that i've got a sewing machine now it's also complicated and i haven't even looked at that yet oh but in my defense you know yeah i bought a new sewing machine um say so new i haven't had one for years and i haven't really got it out the box i did an unboxing but i haven't really got it out the box and used it yet but in my defense gary was off for the week and it's really hard to do anything when when gary's home not because he will always interrupt me but because i know he's there and i hear the distractions even if um you know I, i'm conscious of of him being there so I can't, I can do some filming, but I can't do an awful lot of things. I need to clear my, my mind of everything and concentrate on it. Plus, I have to be in the right frame of mind myself. So I'm not always there. I never used to be like that, but I have to kind of gear myself up. Right, my brain is now ready to assimilate this information. It used to just be there all the time. But now it's kind of like, you know, you've got to make an appointment with it. Seriously, that's what it feels like. Yeah. Oh, it's ready now. Let's do it. <clears throat> anyway, I had a Zoom meeting with Chris, who's a web designer that I've been... Because I've got another channel. It's called Hobby Rocks, and I'm going to be selling um, hobby-related products. So at the moment, it will... I say at the moment, there's nothing there, but um, initially it will be mostly yarn. As you can see, there's lots of yarn around here. It'll be mostly yarn and crochet knitting related accessories and stuff like sewing maybe and it'll gradually increase to other hobbies as it if it gets busier obviously i can't really go get all this stock if it's not gonna fly so i need to kind of work my way up to it gradually but we had a really good meeting yesterday good zoom and um that we kind of looked at a few they called plugins yesterday 
that would suit my needs to be able to upload stock really quickly and easily. And we found a really good one. Um, obviously, you have to pay for it, but that's kind of it will end up being a monthly cost, so that's all right. Um, that's all done now, so um, I'll be able to start using it and uploading some stuff which I've got to get into. So it's going to be busy doing that as well. So yeah, the next meal out hopefully will be Christmas meal, which is a nice place. Um, failing the fact that they start locking us down, which hopefully they won't, but we just have to see. And and that's a nice posh place, so hopefully the food will be second to none there. And tonight's food should be nice because it's a really nice place. So yeah. Um, anyway, I'm going to get off. And I'm going to upload my videos and keep an eye open for the uh, various parcels that are arriving today. Because I do have a few, hopefully. And uh, I will see you soon on the next one. So thank you for watching. Stay safe and uh, watch out on Crochet Rocks. I'll put a link at the end to my Rocks chat, which you might enjoy. Bye for now.